What is up YouTube, Ultimate Lock here, and today we're doing an eBay scam video. I buy tons of items off of eBay. As you've seen from my other eBay scam video, I know what I'm doing with eBay, and I understand how eBay works. Sooner or later, if you buy items off of eBay, you're going to have someone try to scam you. Now, if you know how to use eBay, you know everything about eBay, you pretty much can't get scammed. But there's going to be people that are going to try to scam you. And to the people who don't know a lot about eBay, they're going to end up getting scammed. And this happens all the time on eBay. And this is why eBay has a really bad reputation. But if you know what you're doing, you're pretty much set. Hopefully this video is informative. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. But before we do that, I'm going to be going over the giveaway, doing a giveaway for an Ancient Mew promo. It's PSA graded, and it just looks freaking awesome. To enter the giveaway, all I have to do is leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'll be giving this away in the next eBay Mail Day episode. So, this week is a pretty interesting week. I had two people try to scam me, right? The first one is the one I'm making the video about. The second one is this item right here. I'm just going to go over this one really quickly, then we'll jump on to the primary one. Dude tried to sell me a Pokemon Blue factory sealed, and this is not factory sealed. And he shipped it in a bubble mailer, which I thought was hilarious, because when I received it, I could see that it was in a bubble mailer with no box covering it, and like you could feel the game, the game box was like crushed and indented. I was like... If a factory sealed Pokemon Blue is in this bubble mailer, I'm going to be pissed. Because these are rare. And I paid a pretty, pretty decent price to get this. And, um, yeah, he shipped it in a bubble mailer. So I've already contacted the seller and was like, dude, this is obviously not a factory sealed Pokemon Blue. And I'm going to be returning this. And the dude's like, um... Oh, okay. I, I, I'm like, why would you even ship it in a bubble mailer to begin with? Like, even if this was a factory sealed one, why would you ship it in a bubble mailer? And there was like literally no response. I was like, yeah, this guy did not think this through at all. So let's get on to the primary topic. All right. So this dude ended up trying to scam me. And it's actually quite funny because... It goes on for a while, and I also call eBay during the whole thing. So, this is the auction that I'm talking about. GameCube Broadband Adapter Ultimate Bundle. It's basically a online bundle for the GameCube. It does. It has the Ethernet adapter. It has the Game. Uh, was it GameCube keyboard controller? Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star Online. I think that's three or one. It's it's something along those lines. Two controllers and a GameCube that has a special skin on it. The problem that I had with this auction is because I saw it, I immediately bought it because I knew it was a really good deal. I know that the adapter alone for the Ethernet is, I think, about like $60, 50 dollars. $50, the keyboard is about forty dollars. The game, the two games are worth about fifty dollars, and the GameCube itself is worth about like twenty-five to thirty. So obviously, for ninety-five dollars, that's a pretty damn good deal. So I ended up buying, and like something was bugging me. I, I didn't know what it was. I was like, huh. So next day. I'm still thinking about, like, what what's wrong with this? So I contacted the guy, asked for tracking information, asked if he shipped it. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get that to you as soon as possible. I'll be shipping it out, like, Monday or Tuesday. I'm like, okay. I believe this was, like, Saturday or something along those lines. Anyways, he said he was going to ship it out. So I'm like, okay. Next day, I'm like, it's still bothering me. What, what's wrong with this auction? And I started to look at it. I'm like, wait a minute. I bought a very, very, very similar auction, right? Like six months ago. And the seller never shipped it out. And he sold it to like five other people. Could this be the same guy? And the thing that really stuck out was the GameCube skin. You see that little GameCube skin? I think that's like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess or something along those lines. Or maybe Mario Sunshine. Or maybe that's just a generic one. Either way, the GameCube skin is what stuck out. It turns out that the guy who sold me this listing is the same guy who sold me the other one and didn't ship it out. And I was like, holy crap. So I went to my negative uh, feedback that I've left for other people, scrolled down, and I looked at the title. And it says, GameCube Broadband Adapter Ultimate Bundle. Exact same title. And it, it was the same guy. I looked at his logo, or I, I went to his account. It shows his logo. And the same logo for his profile picture is on the account that I just bought from. 
So they're the same account. There's, there's no denying it. They had the same damn profile picture, man. It's, it, it's one hundred percent that these are the same guys. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so stupid. So I went off and I was like, okay, well, let's go and call eBay. So I went off, called eBay, and this is what it went from there. Hi, welcome to eBay. Just so you know, we may record and listen to this call. To get started, say or enter your seven-digit one-time passcode, or say I don't have one. Calling in the recorded line. I'm speaking with Mr. Sure. Yes. Okay, yeah, this is a lot better. So, yes, um, going back to your concerns, how may I help you? Uh, one second, please. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Okay. All right, so I ended up buying an item called GameCube Broadband Adapter Ultimate Bundle on December 12th. You should be able to see that on my profile, right? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the item that I purchased, it was for $95. It was a good deal and everything. That's the reason why I jumped onto the purchase. And I distinctly remember about like six months ago running into a similar auction like this. It wasn't exactly the same, it had a different picture, but the thing that stuck out is the GameCube or the little square thing in there that has all the weird funky colors. That's a specialized skin. Like that's like something that's not that very common. And the last auction I had had that skin. So I was thinking, like I talked to the seller and everything. He seemed like a good guy, but he still hasn't shipped out my item. So I started thinking like, this is just weird. So I went back to uh, my pre the previous guy who ended up trying to scam me. Uh, he never shipped out the item. He said he shipped out the item and he sold the item multiple times to many different people. And it turns out that this is the same exact guy. So, so and until now, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So the other guy, uh, like, I was just assuming this until I went to the guy who I just purchased this item from. I looked at his profile, and he has a profile picture. And his profile picture is the exact same profile picture as the other guy who ended up doing uh, the selling of the same item multiple times and never shipped out any of them. His name was... Uh, if you look at my uh, negative feedback, stuff that I've left for other people, his name is... Okay, let me go ahead and track in that. Just bear with me one second. Okay. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I haven't received any shipping information or anything. I contacted the dude. I asked him... Uh, when is he going to ship it? And he's like, oh, Monday or Tuesday. And he never gave me any tracking information, which I felt really weird. And then I looked at his uh, selling history. And again, like I said, these this stuff is like rare. It's not something that you would find multiple of. And he sold the same uh -huh. lot one, two, three, four, five, five times to five different people. So... Um, um it shows, it shows here, actually, on this listing, as I track here, on uh, you know, on the details, it, the, the seller did already mark this item as uh, shipped, and the estimated delivery date of the item supposedly was on the 16th of December, okay? All if right. I may ask, because um, I, I, I'm also tracking the other account here, the user ID yep. of the other seller. Um, yeah, this seller, have you sent them uh, any email or notification in regards to this item that you haven't received it yet? No, because that's his other account, it looks like. I've sent it to the uh, the other guy, the one that I purchased it from. Yeah, I sent it to him. I sent him a message. Uh, I, actually, I haven't sent him a message. I haven't received it, but he's just going to say that he doesn't have it. Or, or he's already going to say he's just, he shipped it. The the problem that I think is going on here is that I'm like 95% sure he's just trying to buy time and then he's going to take the money and remove it from his PayPal account. Yeah, that could actually be, you know, um, one the, reason as to why this yeah. number is not placing any tracking details, but just mark the item as fun. 
and you know have not given you any update in regards to the uh, shipment as well. But as early, um, or, I mean, right now you are actually you are actually able to open up a case for this transaction already for item not received. And about the seller that you mentioned to me earlier, I can see here that you know um, there is really actually something might be really going on in this account. As I can see here, we are actually investigating this eBay account right now, and I am trying to check if this person might be somehow associated with this account for me to be able to, you know, uh, file a case in regards do to you, this two account. By any chance, so do you have any of the... By any, chance, okay. by any chance, do you have any of the photos from the previous listing that I left negative feedback for? Because if you look at those photos, it's gonna you're going to see the exact same thing. Uh -huh. And also, um, he has the same profile picture. And that profile picture is not something that everyone would have. Yeah, um, I, would, I, would, um, I am actually still you know, checking the previous listing that you purchased from. And I will be going to investigate in this. In your end, um, Alan, if I may ask, do you know how to open up an item not received case? Yeah, I know how to open that up. Okay. okay. So, um, as early as now, I would like you to open up a case in regards to this transaction, an item not received case, for you to be able to, you know, so we can make sure that we can definitely help you out if this seller wouldn't really ship this item out to you. All right. Okay. I'll open it up yeah, right, um, right now. Yeah, by the way, I will um, check on the listings here. Do you mind if I will place you in a brief hold? It will be less than two minutes. Sure. All right, thank you. Just stand along. I will place you in a hold now. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Alan. Um, yes, uh, thank you for waiting in the line. So, yes, I have already checked the... Uh, you know, um, details that you, you told me earlier about the profile picture, you know, um, the pictures on the listing. As I can see, uh, some of the pictures are really not the same, but the first uh, picture on the listing is uh, very identical to the other uh, listing, including the title of it. So um, I will be going to file a report in regards to this, um, Alan, and in your end. We just need to focus on this case, so I needed to make sure that four days after you have opened this um, item not received case, you will be able to call us back to have this case escalated to us. All right. So we will be going to help you out then, okay? I just made the case right now, so it's already up. Okay, yeah, I, I can definitely see here that you have already opened up an item not received case. So on the 23rd of December, if you will not hear anything from the seller, no item that will be, you know, or that would arrive in your hand or will be delivered to you, just call us back immediately. All right. Okay. Will do. So as you saw from the eBay phone clip, I was instructed to open up an item not received case against the seller. So I did such and I ended up getting this email. This email says basically I've opened up a case and it is now open and live in the resolution center and the seller has gotten a similar email saying that a case has been opened up against their account. So I went off and was like, all right, let's go play some Smash Bros. And I played some Hearthstone, came back about like, I want to say an hour later and I had three messages in my inbox. It's like, oh, this is going to be good. So the first message I receive is, hello, the package arrived at my local UPS today. It's Christmas, so it's not my fault if there's a delay. I don't know why you can't be patient. So I was like, okay. So he says that it arrived at the UPS that li literally is about two miles away from me. So it should be delivered the next day. Okay, let's look at the next message he sends me. Can you please close this request now? All right. So you want me to close the request. Here's a big thing you need to understand, right? One, I haven't been given a tracking number. Two, the second you close a request, you cannot open cases up again. Once you close a case, you're done. It's over. The seller can just get up and walk away. eBay will not help you if you open up a case and then close it. It says it right when you're closing the case. Make sure that you really want to close this case because you will not be able to open up another one. Here's where it becomes a scam. He is now going to try 
his entire, he's going to try to do anything to make me close this case. Because the second I close the case, he wins. I'm not going to be able to get my refund, and he's just going to walk away with his money. So that's what he is doing right now, and this is how he's trying to scam you. He has two win conditions. First win condition is he stalls for 24 days, where the funds in PayPal stop being pending, and that way he can just take the money from PayPal and run, he can transfer it to his like a uh, bank account or something along those lines, and then he can just close out his PayPal account. Or he goes off and uh, has a case open up against him, and he convinces the buyer to close the case. If they close the case, then eBay will not intervene because they opened up a case and then they closed the case. And when you close a case, that is saying that you've come to a mutual agreement and you're you're basically satisfied. So essentially, if you close a case, you should already have the money in hand. If you agree to a partial refund, you should already have the partial refund in hand before going off and closing the case. So that's very, very, very important to understand. Here's the third message. Please go easy on me. I'm a new seller and it really isn't my fault. Can you please close this request? Again, he is trying his hardest to make me close this case because once once I close the case, it's over. It, it, it's There's nothing I can do. So he wins if I do that. Why do I feel like you're just trying to get free stuff and your money back? Huh. This is coming from the guy who's scamming people. The guy who sold the same item five times. I'm sure he doesn't think I know that he sold it five times. But he did. And it was... It, oh my gosh. Like, if you're ever skeptical of, like, whether you're basically buying from a legitimate source. And they don't have, like, a thousand feedback or something along those lines. Just check and see if they sold the same item four or five times. If they did, they're not a legitimate source. Especially when it's, like, bundles like that. Maybe if you're, like copies of like certain games like like $30 games I could see someone having maybe two or three maybe even four if they got a lot of them but like a bundle like this not not possible not likely I guess it's possible but very very unlikely if you are, can you please show mercy on me? I'm an innocent seller that wants to buy at least one gift for my kids this year please close the request like seriously you're dragging kids into this like man this is just cruel. This is just really, really cruel, man. All those kids, just you're just trying to get money to buy that damn Christmas gift. Ah. So, this is the first message I replied to. Like, I, this literally what I said. So, sorry I wasn't able to show it to you like I showed the other messages. Because for whatever reason, when I send a message or when I reply to messages like that, it doesn't come up in that and it's not in my sent folder. So, I just went to the eBay case and it shows all the replies and all the comments that I've uh, received during the case. And here it is. The message that I personally sent. You said it was in my local post office, then please show me the tracking number that shows it in my local post office. So essentially he said, again, about like, I think it was the second message, that it was in the, or actually no, it might have been the first message, that it was at the post office that was right next to my house. Like, very, very, very close. I was like, okay, well, if you know it's in that post office, send me the tracking number so I can actually confirm that. So that seems reasonable, right? That seems seems logical, right? Here's his response, and it's freaking hilarious. I called the post office and asked them. What? Um, tracking number? No, no, no tracking number? You just called up the post office and you're like, yeah, yeah, we, we got this package. We got like 10,000 packages over here. But we know exactly where this one is. If you've ever called the post office, like even with a tracking number, it is such a hassle. To get them to find a package. Like it's it's insane. And if you don't have a tracking number. You're, you're pretty much SOL. So him calling up the post office. And asking them for a package. If they have a package that they don't even have a tracking number for. Is nearly impossible. Especially at my location. Because my location is the main office. So no. No that's that's not that's not legitimate in any way shape or form. So I just started laughing about that one. Do you have no heart? I sold you my longtime possessions to give my kids a good, decent Christmas. Please close this request. I'm gonna cry. Really? 
You gonna cry, man, if I don't close this request? Ah, I'd better, I'd better close this request now. I, 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 I don't want to make you cry, man. You're not like you're trying to scam me or anything. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It, it's, it's funny. It's funny. The sad thing is people actually do fall for this stuff. And this guy's trying to basically like guilt trip you so hard into closing the request or closing the case. And once you do that, again, like I've said multiple times, you lose. Your eBay won't back you up. You won't get your money back, and he'll just walk away with the cash. I'm a poor single father, sir. Please close the request, and I'll give it to you at the end of the week, and I promise to refund you if the problem continues. Really, really just tugging those heartstrings, man. I'm a poor single father, sir. <laughs> Please close the request. I'll give it to you at the end of the week, and I promise to refund you if the problem continues. You can't even give me a damn tracking number. You supposedly know where the freaking thing is by calling the post office, which I know you're full of shit on. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's just gold. And here's the icing on the cake. eBay. The listing you are interested in is no longer available. Hello? We are writing to let you know that we've removed an item that you recently won. GameCube Broadband Adapter Ultimate Bundle. Essentially what this is saying is that all the listings uh, like that are attached to his account that are outgoing right now that have not been confirmed have been terminated because his account can no longer sell. So this guy's account got banned because I went off and called him, which is just amazing. Because if you were to go off and cancel this as a seller, if you went off and cancel this, it would just show up that a seller has canceled your listing. It would not say that eBay has canceled, which is, this is what the thing is saying. It's, it's just amazing. And this guy is so screwed because what he was hoping for, right? He was hoping that he could go off and screw one out of five people. And if he screwed at one out of five people, that's a free $100. Or I guess it's free $95, which is still pretty good to him. But it's just crappy that things like this happen on eBay. And as long as you know how to prevent it, it's it's pretty easy. But, geez, it's been a while since someone's actually tried this stuff. Like, when people try to generally scam, they send you, like, defective stuff. And they're hoping that you don't know what you're doing. They're hoping that you won't return it or you won't know anything or maybe you'll return it, but you won't send tracking information so that way you can't get it back. As long as you know what you need to do, it's very easy to make eBay always side with you, especially if you're a buyer. If you're a buyer and that happens, you're pretty much set as long as you follow eBay's policies. When it comes to being a seller, if someone tries to scam you as a seller, make sure you have like a police officer opening um, with you when you're opening the package. It might sound really weird, but if it's like over $200, definitely have them there to make sure that you're actually getting your stuff back. There's so many videos on YouTube showing uh, basically sellers receiving returns and they've literally like just gave them books back to match the weight. Uh, I think there was, what was it? it was like a, a, a microwave or something that someone bought and they literally just put books there instead of the microwave and they kept the microwave and police officer documents it all down and that's mail fraud. So it's, it's a pretty serious offense. So, yeah, hopefully you like this uh, video. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember, guys, I am doing a giveaway for a PSA-graded Ancient Mew. All you have to do is like the video, comment, and subscribe. So, as always, thanks for watching, and peace out.